One of the most important things in Hypixel Skyblock are pets. Because, I mean, without pets, what could we really do? Pretty much nothing. At least I couldn't. You use pets for mining, for combat, for farming, for fishing, for pretty much everything in the game. And therefore, they are pretty much one of the most important things that you could get in Hypixel Skyblock. They can increase your damage, increase your magic find, and increase all of your overall stats. But at the same time, there are a lot of pets that you cannot craft or just obtain easily without buying them for millions or even billions billions of coins. Billions might be a little bit of an over-exaggeration, but at least for millions, almost billions of coins. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can increase your chances to get these mob, what you need to do, and all the steps you need to remember if you want to get your hands on some of these mob drop pets that are really, really rare. And before the video starts with this video, I'm doing a 1 million coin giveaway to 3 lucky people. All you need to do for a chance to win is subscribe to the channel. Do it right now. I'll give you 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you've done that, then all you need to do is like and comment your IGN plus your favorite Hypixel Skyblock NPC. Behind me is Jack, but you can choose whoever you would want. I'm also doing a 10 million coin giveaway in my Discord, and every time that 10 million coin giveaway runs out, we'll host a new one. So, I mean, there will be unlimited 10 million coin giveaways. So all you need to do is just join that giveaway, and you'll have an automatic chance. It'll be the first link in the description. And let's just get into the video. Now, to begin with, one of the most important things to remember is that you need a good amount of magic find. So, the more magic find you have, the better. How can you maximize your magic find when doing these things. Well, first of all, you have to remember that you, of course, need to be able to do the task that you need to do to actually get them if you don't want to buy them yourself. That means before focusing on the magic find, make sure that you can actually, say, kill a dragon or something like that. But if you can easily kill a dragon, I would recommend that you get yourself the black cat pet. If you kill the dragon with the black cat pet on, you get more magic find, which is pretty much all you want. So you can see for level 78, you get 11.7 .7 more magic find, which is already a huge boost. If you have a level 100, I'm pretty sure you get up to 15 more magic find. Well, 15 in total from that. Along with that, make sure you always have a god splash on and a booster cookie as they are the things that will help you increase it even more. Another thing that will help you is when Aatrox is mayor. Because Aatrox has a perk called Pathfinder that he occasionally has that makes you get rare drops 20% more often. Meaning it gives you plus 20 magic find. Now, there are more ways that you can increase your magic find, but these are the ways I would recommend when starting to do this. Now, at Elizabeth, you can also upgrade your magic find so you get plus 5 additional magic find. I mean, it helps, but it's not necessarily needed, but it will help you in the long run. So, if you don't want to wait, like, 30 days it'll take you, then don't bother to do it. If you want a more in-depth video on how to get more magic find, let me know in the comments and I'll make that. But moving on, we've talked about magic find. Now we need to get on to the pets. Now I'm gonna talk about four pets that people want the most, in my opinion, at least. It's gonna be the Ender Dragon pet, the Phoenix pet, the Enderman pet, and the Baby Yeti pet. All the other mob drop pets are pretty cheap to buy from the auction house. Say, if we look at the Golem, the Golem pet is currently 2.7 million for a legendary version, which is not the most amount of money. Now, of course, if you follow these things, everything will work for every pet, but I'm just gonna go into more depth with four of them. Now, the Ender Dragon pet is, of course, a pet that a lot of people want, and I don't blame you. It's a really good pet. Now, the epic version is not as good as the legendary version, but I mean, it's still 324 million lowest spin, which, I mean, you can't complain about. And then for a legendary one, it's 659 million coins, which is a lot of money. If you don't want to keep it, you can sell it and make a lot of profit from that. Now, of course, you gotta keep in mind that you need to play summoning eyes, but if you want to spend your money on something I gamble that way, you have a 0.5% chance per eye plays to get an epic one. So that means if you place four eyes, you have a 0.20% chance to get the epic and the dragon pet, which is 300 million profit. Now, I'm pretty sure that doesn't even count for magic finds, so you have to remember that and your, your chance will be even more. For a legendary one, which is an Iron Jesus drop, you have 0.1% per eye. That means 0.4% for four eyes with 100% magic finds. Now, the Phoenix pet is obviously also a pet that a lot of people want in the high picks of Skyblog, and it's a really, really incredibly rare pet. But the Phoenix pet has two Orange Jesus chances to drop. It has a 1 in 6 million Orange Jesus chance to drop an epic one, and it has a 1 in 30 million chance to drop a legendary one. So your chances are very low, but it's for killing every monster in the game. Now, of course, magic find will affect this pet. So the more magic find you have, the higher of a chance you will have to get this pet, and therefore make a lot of profit from it. Now, I would not necessarily grind for this pet on itself. I would just do the normal tasks that you usually do in high of Skyblock, like farming Enderman, or doing whatever you want to do while killing mobs and then hoping for a chance to get it because that's pretty much all you can do. It wouldn't really make sense to grind for it at least. It's not really the most expensive pet anymore. It used to be way more when it first came out, but at least it's a little bit of profit and it's a pretty cool pet to have, especially when you drop it yourself, which is a huge flex. Next up is the Enderman pet, which is a really, really, really good pet if you want to do the Void Gloom Slayer. For the Void Gloom, it's definitely recommended you have a legendary one and if you can even drop yourself one, that's even better because they are a bit expensive. They're around 30 million on the auction. 
house. Now, it's important to remember that if you want to drop a legendary one, you have to kill the level 50 one. It won't drop from anything else. Now, our rare endermen has a 0.1% chance to drop. An epic one has a 0.01 chance to drop. And the legendary one has a 0.0006% RNG's chance to drop from the level 50 enderman. So, you can see it's a really rare chance. To put that into perspective, it's around a 3 in 500,000 chance to get the legendary one. Which is a really low chance. Now, of course, the more magic land you have, which we talked about earlier, the higher your chance will be. Up last in the pets we're talking about today is the baby yeti pet. Now, the baby yeti pet you can only get in the Jerry's workshop when fishing up yetis. Now, you have a 3% chance to get an epic yeti pet, which is not the best, but it's at least something. And then you have a 0.8% chance to get the legendary. And that's with 100 magic find. Now, how will we calculate this to see our chances to get the pet or drop or whatever with a higher luck level and a higher magic find? If we take a look at my magic find, we can see I have 126 magic find. And we can see if I look at my Hyperion, for example, I have a luck level of 6. Now, we're going to do some simple math and then calculate our chances to get this legendary baby yeti pet. Now, the way this is going to work is that we have our base chance times 1 plus our magic find bonus plus luck level times 0.05. So, we saw my 126 magic find and my 6 luck. This is how it's going to go. We have our baby yeti pet, which has a 0.8% chance to drop in a legendary rarity. Now, as we're going to use this in the formula, we will have to convert it. So, it's 0.008. Now, we have 26 extra bonus magic find. That means I'll come out to 0.26. So, now, if we're going to calculate our overall chance to actually get this pet drop to us, we'll have to do some simple math and put this into the formula and say we're going to take 0 0.008 times 1 plus our magic find bonus, which is 0 0.26 plus our luck level, which is 6 and then times 0 0.005. Now, this is the base formula and that we'll need to calculate with. But let me just clean this a little bit up for you because I know it's a bit messy. Just like so. Now, of course, we'll have to calculate the rest of this. Meaning we now have 0 0.008 times 1.26 plus 0 0.3. Now, I'll clean this up a little bit. Now, this will equal 0 0.008 times 1.56, which equals 0 0.01248. Now, let me clean this up a little bit. And now, we've come to the end. And so, if we convert this into percent again, we will then see that this comes out to 1.248%. I'm sorry to give you this little math lesson outside of school, but with all that math combined, we can now see that our total chance will be 1.248% chance to get this baby Yeti legendary pet when we have all the things we have equipped right now. Now, you can use the formula yourself, or you can not use the formula yourself and stop doing math, even though I like math. So, I hope this video was helpful, and I hope it helped clear up a few things about how magic find works and how everything like that related works, because now you can easily calculate your chances to actually get levels, and you can see that magic find does affect it a lot. Now, it only affects things under 5% drop chance, but you can see with the luck enchantment and everything like that, you can see that you actually have a way higher chance than it says to get the pet that are listed. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, join the Discord down below, and all I can say for now is bye!